Welcome everyone. This is our panel on the making and marketing of the music for the World Cup. Really to get an idea about, you know, how much, um, what, how big the audience is for soccer and entertainment around soccer, I just wanted to uh, first call on Steve Schnur because with the EA FIFA soccer game, he really goes through this year after year experiencing like the global excitement around soccer. So I don't know if Steve, you might be able to give us an introduction from your experience. Well, um, you know, it's funny, in North America in particular, when you mention EA Sports, the first thing many people think of is Madden football. But the truth is that it pales by comparison to FIFA on a global basis. Um, the interesting thing about FIFA as an interactive uh, game is that FIFA is now beginning, particularly in the last couple of years, to grow by leaps and bounds in North America. So it truly is becoming global. Where it once was thought of as something that was for the rest of the world, it clearly has taken um, North America by storm. Um, each year, um, the FIFA game will sell um, anywhere up between 10 to 12 million copies globally, um, of which we used to sell below a million copies in the United States, and now it's closing in near 2 million copies, to put it into perspective, which is uh, huge numbers. Um, so the fanaticism um, of the sport itself is catching on like crazy. What we've always sort of known that happened in the UK and Germany and Brazil and other places around the world, we're beginning to experience here now. Musically speaking, we've spent the last decade plus trying to ensure that we found 30, 40, 50 bands on a global basis that would matter to everyone. We, what we tried to do and, and many times succeeded to do in Madden football by discovering the next 10, 20, 30 bands that would change your, li change your life in North America, we've always now attempted to do with Brazilian artists, uh, with German artists, with uh, Italian artists, and so on. And what we've learned, and many people know now, that in the year 2014, and for the last five years in particular, the world has become flat, as they say, and people in, in, in Japan and people in Italy really want to discover music from Brazil and music from Germany, and so on and so on. It really a long gone are the days when music became something local. So we utilize that platform to make sure that the sound of soccer, uh, the sound of football, is truly a global one to everyone because FIFA really has become a musical sport as well. And I think most people will agree, I can't imagine FIFA without music. Hablando de fútbol y música, quería saber si puedes contar un poco en tu experiencia la relación entre fútbol y música. El fútbol es como la vida, por eso creo que puede ser el deporte que más se juega en el mundo, porque hay maneras de, de ver en la historia y en la prehistoria del hombre el fútbol como un deporte originario de diferentes culturas, incluso antes que los ingleses lo reglamentaran. Es decir, yo siempre entendí el fútbol como la vida y la vida tiene su banda sonora, es decir, va la música paralela al fútbol. De donde vengamos en Latinoamérica, de donde es mi origen, en Sudamérica, eh, nosotros el fútbol en Santa Marta eh, lo acompañamos con tambores que van marcando el ritmo del partido. Entonces, para mí, yo te agradezco lo de futbolista, pero sí, mi pasión del fútbol es la pasión que tenemos todos en mi país por, el de, por ese deporte. Y lo aprendí desde niño porque mi papá trabajaba en un equipo de fútbol. Entonces tengo conexiones emocionales con el deporte eh, y aunque cada vez, me, cada vez que juego me pasa algo, tengo un desgarro en una pierna, me tuerzo un tobillo, eh, el fútbol es algo que quiero jugar todos los días, ¿no? 
Así que eh, cantar, formar parte del himno junto a David Corey es como un sueño hecho realidad. Oh, I think that since, uh, you know, Cup of Life with Rick Martin and then uh, Waka Waka with Shakira, it was a, such a great build-up because both songs were hit songs. Um, and now I think it's something different that the artists uh, all over the world, they now want to be part of this soundtrack. At least I, I, I felt from my end uh, in Brazil, especially in Brazil, of course, the World Cup is placed there, that everyone wants to do a song. Every artist has a song for the World Cup. And a lot of the time we didn't have a space to fill up in an album, but there is something different now, it's a digital world. So actually you can have different albums, you can have different configurations per country. Uh, besides the original soundtrack we're gonna release, it's gonna be on iTunes, we're gonna release three CDs approved by FIFA that is only with Brazilian music, it's samba, it's bossa nova, it's music for the world who is interested in Brazil and the Brazilian culture. Uh, uh, in association with soccer and passion, so it's going to be available. At the same time, it's going to be a third album, which is music for international artists too, that's going to be played inside of the stadiums, because we're responsible for picking the music to put people to really share up in Brazil. So the idea really isn't that, you know, it's one song, and then you're all competing in to have this well, one song. Well, there's an official it's song funny. and an official anthem. But I okay. mean in terms of the payoff. You know, Waka Waka was a big hit. Couple Life was a big hit. So the goal here is to have big hits, to have a big hit with these guys, you know? That's the goal. We have a great partnership with Coke that, you know, is the first time we've actually had the Coke song on the World Cup album. Um, yeah, I, first and foremost, I just want to say that I've waited for this opportunity my whole life. You know, I was born in a little favela in Brazil, and uh, I was adopted by the greatest family in the world. We have no stoplights where I'm from. So your dreams are just about as big as you can think about. And um, the greatest thing about music is, music is a universal language. It doesn't have a color. That's how I was raised. I was raised to use my voice to connect with people. I'm not looking at this as just as a song for the World Cup. I'm looking at this as a way to connect my story to people to help you guys understand that anything is possible. So for me personally, this is the greatest opportunity in my life. Life is like a ladder, it's steps. And you always have to understand that somebody's working just as hard to get to that point that you're trying to get to. And this is just a step in my ladder. And I'm at the bottom of the step. And throughout this year, I've grown as a man. And you know, I'm incredibly honored to not only share this moment for my family, but with everyone here. Joe took a risk, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not perfect, but I'm here. I put my heart in the track and, um, you know, my mother passed away two weeks ago and um, I, she came to Atlanta and she's a pistol and she made this, she helped make this happen for me and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. So, you know, I, I've dreamt of getting this opportunity since I was a child. Um, I mean, I, I can't really say much more than that, but that I'm not going to let anybody down in this room and most importantly, if you believe in me now. I promise I'll make you believe five, 10, 20 years from now. And I'm blessed to have this opportunity. So, thank you. <laughs>